Welcome back everybody, this is King's Playroom, and today we are back in Best of One Standard playing some Luris Companion Rogues. And I know what y'all are thinking, you don't like rogues, nobody likes rogues, but I like rogues. So, this deck has brought me up into Mythic and up into the top 200, and I'm hoping it drives me even up into the top 100. So I thought I'd take a second to go through the deck, the more important cards... And then get into a game, show you how the deck works, and maybe you guys like it. You may, maybe want to test it out. If you guys like rogues, then maybe it's different than the ones you play, and you can test it out and see how you like it. But to start off, we got Luris's Companion. It shuts off like Zerasan and stuff like that, but that's fine. Uh, the the best part about this, like, my favorite thing about Luris isn't actually playing it. I mean, playing it is great, but when you're up against Control or, like, the Rogue Mirror, anything with counter spells, really, and you bring this up into your hand, um, they will take steps to make sure you don't get to play it, leaving mana open on their turn, uh, letting your other stuff resolve because they want to have Counterspell Magic available for Luris. So it's a sneaky way to put them on their guard, even if you don't intend to cast it. Putting in your hand can usually let some of your other stuff slip through because they want to counter this more than anything else. So kind of sneaky that way. We got four Wind Robbers, four Thieves Guild Enforcers, four Thought Thieves, and four Crabs. The standard mill package... And Rogue's Package. Then 4 Drown in the Lock, because if you're playing Mill, then you can't do be much better than a Counterspell slash Kill Spell. So, for 2 mana, it's great. Then we got 2 Lofty Denials. Now, some people play Heartless Act, and other people play something else. But with the Flyers, Lofty Denial kind of kind of works out. But I understand if you don't want to play Lofty Denial, you could do Heartless Act or something else. And then we got four Blood Chiefs Thirst. It's very efficient. It hits Planeswalkers and Creatures. And it's only one mana if the creature you're targeting costs two or less, which is a lot of them. A lot of problem creatures in the format cost two or less. Scavenging Ooze when you're playing with Rogues, you know, etc. Uh, you get three Call of the Death Dweller, so you don't have to be too worried about your stuff dying. You can chump block with your Thieves Guild to trade, and then be like, well, here it is again. Four into the story, because the four mana draw four is just great. Reload your hand in the late game, or push things over the top when you're ahead. Two Low Mage Domination. Now this is great when you're playing against the Rogue Mirror again. Like, say they put Luris into their hand, if they have Luris. Say they put it in their hand. And then it goes to your turn. If you tap out, play as much stuff as you can, tap out, or get as close to it as you can, so you don't look like you have a counter spell, then they will feel free to play it on their turn, and then pull something out of their graveyard, usually leaving them with not enough mana to counter. And then you can just be like, LOL, mine. <laughs> and it's just great. Or you can take problem creatures like Questing Beast, um, you know, Love Struck Beast, anything giving you troubles, you can just snatch it. And I don't like being triple blue, so I only have two in the deck, especially when I have three triple black Agademes Awakening. And most of the time this is a land, but I don't like having triple black and triple blue, so we only got two Low Mage and three Agademes. But, yeah, and then we have two Temples of Deceit over here, and I'm still not sure about this. You could swap it out for, like, Crawling Barons for for control decks. You could swap it out for more basics. Um, I'm just not sold on the Temple yet. But I've had a game, I've had games where it cost me the game, so I'm still very iffy on it. But, yeah. So there's a quick run through the deck. We'll get started, and hopefully I don't completely embarrass myself in this game. 
because <laughs> you know that's what happens every time I click record is I mess up I make misplays stuff I wouldn't normally do it's just you guys got me nervous okay up against Corey Northenus sure <laughs> Ooh, I like it keep and I go first we start with a black Yorian worst matchup I can think of what do you want to scry to? Yes, scry to the top. Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, doo -dee -doo. Some people might say to leave up the counter magic, but you gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, faster. Okay, Sonic. Moving along. Been watching game theory. <laughs> Oi game theory on YouTube so my apologies play a land play a wind robber swing three now I have counter magic available we'll see what they do if they play an Elspeth's nightmare I'm gonna have to counter it just because if I don't they're gonna take it away from me anyway Ruin crab? Do you do you dislike the ruin crab? No? Okay. Land. Do Ugin. Definitely control. I... Why didn't I swing with the wind robber? Uh, I don't know. Like I said, misplays. Haha. <laughs> Extinction event. No. <laughs> Get another one of those, buddy. Boop. Put Lyris in our hand. Make him think about that. Ooh, they drew a cling to dust. They drew a cling to dust. Are they going to leave mana open to counter the Lurus? Yorian is very hard to mill out, which is why we have to aggro. Got to aggro our way through. Because there's no way we're going to... Uh, I mean... Oh! Bye! Okay, that was fast. 160. Trying to get in the top 100. I've been really close. I was at 100 a little bit ago. And then like 10 seconds later, somebody won a game and passed me. <laughs> so I was not actually in the top 100. I was just sitting at the edge of top 100. But I think that was quick enough. We'll run through another one. Yorian didn't want to play no more. Ryu Toko. What are they? Number 556? I go first. Uh, I don't like this. Nope. I don't really... I'm not really thrilled about this either, but it's better than... The... And we go first. Uh, up against Yorian again? Oh, jeez. Oh, and, and he got a cling. And he got a cling. Of course he did. He can't use it yet. So, I do have a little time. But, not having the black, not having a second black here hurts a little. Doop, doop. Okay. We got a 3-2 now. I wish I would have had a black mana, but... Blood Chief's Thirst is not going to help me. Uh, 
what are they going to cast on four? They could cling. In which case, we'll get Luris in our hand. If they decide to cling, I'll cast Luris. I'll cast the Thieves Guild from my graveyard. Well, unless they cling it. But I'm assuming they want to draw a card. Nope. Ha. <sighs> Dang it. Dang, Frabbit. Play land. And I would assume they want. I assumed they wanted to draw a card. How dare I make the assumption that that's what they want? Drown in a lot. Counters. Whoop, nope. No. Too much card advantage. Boop. Crab. Four cards. They can't. They probably want me to do that. Result. They probably wanted me to counter it. So they could do something else. And I was just not having it. Temple. How come I always draw both temples? I don't want another land. Yeah, that's fine. We Thieves Guild. <laughs> okay, now they're gonna bust apart my graveyard again. Oh, extinction. They're not gonna do it. Oof. Into the story time. We land. Oh, nice. I drew another into the story. What's in my graveyard? Just a ruined crab. They can, they can exile their graveyard again. Sure. Three six. If I draw a land, I can just hard cast into the story. Ooh, a lofty denial. I don't really I don't really want to uh, use my call of the death dweller when they only have or when I only have a ruin crab counter get out of here they're making my maze not mine tome really worthless. Or they're making my drown in the locks really worthless, so I might as well use them when they I didn't really wanna do it though now, but Negate or lofty denial. Well, they can't clear the graveyard this turn. They would have to do it on their turn or wait till my turn again. Too bad Luris was exiled. I 
Okay, this is not going well. Do they want to counter this? Three, six, seven. I wonder, I wonder, what are they going to do? Are they going to clear it again? I mean, I would. <laughs> well, let's see if they got it. Jawari. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. This is not going well. <laughs> they got the clings too early. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. They got the clings way too early. Ha, I will take it. One, two, three, four. Mine. <laughs> oh. Would you like to kill it? Oh, yep, they're gonna kill it. No, they're not gonna kill it? Keep that away from ultimate. I was hoping they would kill it. Work for it. Work for it. Oh. Okay, don't work for it then. <laughs> Go ahead and cling. No? You can't win. I mean, uh, the best I can do is keep him from ultimating. With their creature. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. A land. Okay. I'm not going to make you guys sit through the rest of this. We lose. Oh my god. But hey. That was a fun little back and forth. I kind of went backwards. <laughs> but hey, I won the first one. You see what the deck's supposed to do. I'm sure you guys in the comments will let me know what I did wrong. But hey, if you guys are still here, thanks because... Yeah, it really helps out like i enjoy when you guys make it this far but if you are still here then like the video or dislike it because it is rogues uh, comment down below any changes you might make or if you like the deck and subscribe so you always get notified of future content and you know it helps out the channel and i really appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next one